The Olympic flame is in the GTA this morning, making its way closer to Toronto one step at a time. <laughs> Celebrations last night in Oshawa as the flame arrived at a party outside the uh, GM Centre. No time to rest though, the convoy is up and running, continuing its journey through Durham Region right now. It will make its way into Toronto this afternoon. Here's a look at the torches route in Whitby. Stops at the Durham Regional Headquarters on Rosslyn in just a few minutes, then west to Brock Street, south on Brock, quick stop at Dundas. Continues on to finish uh, around the 401, around 640. And then it moves into Pickering and towards Toronto. Here's where you can catch the torch when it's here in town. It will arrive around the Young Morgan area around 1.50 this afternoon. Heads east to the Scarborough Civic Center at 3. Then back into the city to Young and Bloor around 6. Downtown to a big party in Nathan Phillips Square at 7. Lots of excitement in the GTA for the arrival of the Olympic Flame. Maybe none more so than the uh, former gold medal winner. Look at that. 83-year-old Murray Dowie was on the... Uh, Pretty cool. Sorry, yeah, was yeah. the goalie on the championship team of the 1948 Olympics. He's one of the many that will carry the torch in T.O. and knows the significance of the day. It, it's a real honor for to go through this city. We're, we're a great uh, city for sports. We always have been. I, mm -hmm. I grew up here and I always got involved in hockey or baseball or any type of sport that, would, that was going on. So I, I, I just hope that the people come out. This is the sweater. Dye was a goalie for Team Canada. He will ride a TTC streetcar with the Olympic flame for his leg of the run. And here's where you can catch the torch when it is here in Toronto. It arrives at Young and Morgan around 1.50. It then heads east to the Scarborough Civic Centre at 3. Then back uh, into the city to Young and Bloor around 6. Downtown to the big party in Nathan Phillips Square around 7. The Olympic spirit is alive and well in the GTA. Chilly this morning in Whitby, but the Olympic flame burned bright as it edges its way towards Toronto. This was a scene this morning on Dundas that made its way into uh, Whitby. It will end its journey in February. It will have covered 45,000 kilometers by that time. The flame at this moment is uh, going through Ajax. Now here in Toronto, you can uh, watch for the torch arriving at Young and Morgan. That's just south of Steeles around 1.50 this afternoon. It uh, snakes its way east to the Scarborough Civic Center by 3, then back to the city to Young and Bloor around 6, uh, downtown to a big party in Nathan Phillips Square at 7. Do we have a shot from uh, from Dexter? Oh, and, and, and if, if we could just, he's on Farm Valley Road in Pickering right now. In just a few minutes from now, this is where the torch is going to be arriving. Um, uh, Olympic figure skater uh, Brian Orser from a few years ago, but still very active in the uh, skating community, will be uh, carrying the torch past this location. So already quite a few people have gathered along uh, this route as they have gathered along right across through Durham Region this morning. I see the flashing lights off in the, uh, the background as well. Such an amazing thing. And while traveling abroad, I have to tell you, the one thing that people kept saying when I I said I was Canadian as well, the Olympics. So it's it's great to know the world is watching and that we get it so close to home that we get to see it literally go by us. And I guess you're wearing your colors today, red and white also. Well, there you go. This is More the reasons colors. to wear the I'm Right shirt. Uh, and it's going to be passing through Pickering uh, this hour and then it makes its way into Toronto. Uh, later on into this afternoon, uh, it starts around Young and Steeles, makes its way in towards the Scarborough Civic Centre, then back downtown and down to um, to Nathan Phillips Square for a big Very party. Very exciting. And I remember when we had uh, the mobile bus and showing all the different torches throughout the years and the various Olympics. It's quite heavy. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy thing to have to carry that. I remember when I held it. It's a beautiful design, but it was rather heavy. It's, it's cumbersome. It's such a cold, cold day. Oh, yeah. Right. 49 days after it started uh, the journey in uh, Victoria, B.C., the uh, Olympic flame is oh so close to Toronto. Let's go. Uh, That's all right. Now, are you a little nervous? I am. <laughs> what about a little, just a little excited? I am excited. <laughs> I'm really, uh, you know, like cool like a cucumber usually, so, you know, this is pretty excited for me, right? <laughs> yeah, this was a scene just a couple of hours ago in Whitby as the Olympic flame made its way along Dundas. It's uh, gone through Ajax. It's now coming into Pickering. And it will end tonight with a massive party at Nathan Phillips Square at 7. A live look right now in Pickering, Valley Farm Road near the Esplanade, uh, where we have a whole bunch of people waiting for the arrival of the torch. In this area, it will be uh, carried by Canadian Olympian Brian Orser, who uh, during the Calgary Winter Olympics, you remember, carried our flag. 
into the stadium. So we'll be watching as the torch makes its way to this area of Pickering and go to it live here on Breakfast Television. And still watch out for the torch making its way right now through Durham region and then through Toronto later on today. A live look once again at the crowd that has developed along Valley Farm Road and the Esplanade in Pickering. And the torch expected to pass by here in just the, uh, the next few minutes. Carried by uh, Brian Orser. And it's a cool news right now. We've just been following the uh, the torch as it makes its way through Durham region this morning. And the, the latest person who will be carrying it in just a moment from now is a skater Brian Orser, one of the most accomplished skaters in, uh, in Canada's history, in fact. And we're just seeing way off in the distance past all the people, the flashing lights leading the way for the torch to uh, make okay. its way towards Orser, who will carry it a short distance before handing it off to another torch bearer. I can see the flashing lights again off in the uh, distance, so we'll have that handoff for you in just a moment here on BT. Let's check traffic and weather together for you right now. Here's the, let's uh, head on out right now to Pickering once again. Now, we've been telling you about some Lakeshore East Line, uh, line delays on the ride guide coming in from the uh, Pickering area this morning, so just keep that in mind. Now, this is the handoff, I believe, from Brian Orser. I believe it's going to be from Brian Orser to uh, the next torch bearer. And uh, person by person, this is slowly making its way, the torch, to uh, Vancouver. We're on Farm Valley uh, Road at the Esplanade in Pickering right now. The torch started its day out in the uh, Whitby Ajax area, uh, area at the border there just about 5 o'clock this morning. And now with uh, daylight, doesn't seem to be getting any warmer for the many people who have lined the route. being led by an entourage of vehicles, including a uh, vehicle there from the uh, RCMP. Now, we were told that uh, Brian Orser is the, uh, the one in, on this leg of the run who is going to be handing off the, uh, the torch. They're a little bit behind schedule. In fact, I think, what are they, how far are they behind schedule? About half an hour right now, which isn't too, too bad when you consider they're running this thing by foot. About 15 minutes of behind schedule thereabouts. The uh, torch being carried by everyday Canadians and some celebrities, including Brian Orser, uh, who was one of the best skaters this country has ever produced. Somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in all this advertising, there is a torch. It is the Olympics, after all. Brian Orser, by the way, was the one who carried our uh, Olympic flag for the 1988 Olympics. Keep in mind that this uh, torch will be causing some traffic delays as it makes its way not only through Durham Region but into Toronto later on today. And it is going to be run, of course, during the rush hour later on this afternoon. So just keep that in mind. Uh, my best advice, stay tuned to 680 News all uh, morning long to uh, get the latest location on the torch and what routes will be, uh, will be impacted. Now, what we're looking for is that Winnebago that is accompanying the torch. I believe we do see it way off in the, uh, the distance right now, just making its way here along Valley Farm Road. Torch has been generating a lot of excitement as it uh, makes its way through. And they are saying that this is going to be the biggest party for the torch outside of Vancouver. Quite a number of school kids uh, out there who have uh, gathered as well just before they, it's a perfect time for folks out in the Pickering area. It's just before school gets underway. And so they are uh, just uh, gathering right now. Now, Frank, it, it is.